What's up, guys? Just from Hell's Headbangers here again, a.k.a. J-Dog, back with another fucking banger of video, hopefully for ya. And today we're going to talk about fucking some last days of humanity. Somebody put in the comments section that I should talk about how we got to, to working with them, because we put out the uh, Hymns of Indigestible Separation uh, LP, which is sold out now. Uh, we probably, I don't know if we're going to do a repress or not. I mean, I, I'd be up for it. Um, so we'll see. But anyways, uh, somebody asked how we got uh, to work with them and maybe some stories about them. Uh, don't really have any stories about them per se because I've never actually met the guys. I've never even actually seen Last Days. As a matter of fact, I don't know if Last Days Humanities has ever even been to the States. If they have, I would imagine that they've, the only thing they've done is played Maryland Death Fest, a.k.a. MDF. Um, but if they did, it was never a year that I went to. I've been to MDF a few times, and uh, I would love to see Last Days. but. Um, yeah, again, that's the only thing I could possibly think of if they ever been to uh, to the United States. And so, yeah, I never got a chance to see them. I would definitely like to. Uh, my only thing is with uh, seeing them, though, is I, I'd be curious as to how they are live, though. Like, how, like, I mean, I've seen, I've, I've uh, Googled some, like, YouTube videos and shit like that, but they were, like, much, much later. I'd be concerned on the sound because I'm a, primarily a fan of the first two records and the, like, 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 Primarily the vocals is what I'd be, I was like, ah, there's no way they're duplicating that fucking life. I was like, I'm sure it's just like, like I said, the shit I Googled too. And I saw is like maybe live, like, I don't know, whatever, 2017 or whatever. So I'm like, I was like, that kind of doesn't count because like, I'm, you know what I mean? Like it's, it was, I didn't expect them to sound like the fucking first two albums, especially the first album. Um, anyways, because then who the fuck does? Like, if you even see like, like, like just look at bands as a progressive too, like fucking Morbid Angel, like, I mean, uh, those vocal look ultra madness doesn't sound anything like fucking uh, domination at, at all. Even just you know that was only a few years later. So that's kind of like a not I wouldn't say a pet peeve, but like when I go to a show and like the vocals don't sound anything like the album, it's just it's just standard like rolls. It's kind of like eh, you know, it's not as fucking cool, you know. So that'd be my only, I guess, if you want to say concern. <laughs> but I'd still want to fucking you know, I still definitely go see them, especially if they came to Cleveland, my own backyard. But uh, anyways, so I brought over what I. Have by them. Give you guys a showing. But, uh, oh, but I guess the answer, uh, who was it? Uh, I forget who asked though about the uh, Last Days of Manny. Sorry, man. I didn't give you a shout out, but I forget uh, who the fuck ever asked. But um, to to do the LP that we did, which I'll start showing you here. Here's what I'll take out the goddamn sleeve, as always. These came out a year or two. Does it say the year on the fucking spine? 2020. So, yeah, just last year. I was going to say, it seemed pretty fucking long enough. So, two years ago now. Pretty fucking, uh, pretty goddamn, uh, brutal fucking cover, I must say. In case for the folks that haven't seen it, pretty fucking graphic, right? The back ain't fucking nothing to snuff at either. So I guess if you're one of the tampon boys with a weak ass stomach watching it, might not be for you. It is definitely extreme as fuck, which is fucking great in my book. Inside too, man, it just keeps on going. Get on the shot. And then it uh comes with a poster too. Which is just of that fucking uh gnarly ass fucking cover. <laughs> right? Again, mine's on my wall or I think like I said with the mortician, you know, don't have any fucking wall space, so you know, it just stays with the fucking record. We did uh two different colors on this. We did uh, uh which I have both. Did a splatter vinyl, which looks pretty fucking sweet. I must say, I'm a huge fan of splatter vinyls. Always have been. Always will be. So, definitely light, love that. And then I'll show you the other color, too. It looks like I own both. So I'm a big fan of this fucking record. That I uh, wanted both. For myself. And the other is just a half and half. Half blue. Half red. But anyways, the answer to the question, how we got, uh, it was, I, we licensed it from uh, Bones Brigade, Brigade, which is a label that did just the CD, which is, you know, I have just a regular CD, just like probably all that watching this, all that happened, fucking like this fucking kind of uh, music. Yeah, just CD that had, same CD I've had since I was a teenager that I bought back when, whatever this, what year did this come out? It was probably, this is probably about 2000, right? Uh, does it say the fucking year on this? 
Uh, but it sounds about 2000. I, I actually remember when I bought this CD too. Uh, it was recorded in 99. So yeah, it probably came out in 2000. I'm sure by the time it actually came out, it was released. Um, I bought this at a, a store, local music store that was called Extreme Music back in the day. It was a cool, really cool record shop. It was owned by uh, Brian Baxter of uh, Regurgitation. So uh, there's a lot of uh, show venues that were like literally right, right next door to it. Like there's like there's like fucking four goddamn venues right on the same street. All, like you could literally all walking distance. So a ton of the shows that came into Cleveland was like fuck yeah, it's right next to you know Baxter shop. So you'd go to out to the show, you'd shop first at the shop, and then you'd go to the fucking show. So every show always would anytime there's a show, you knew you were coming back with new good shit too because you went to his uh, store and it was uh, I believe. Um, because he owned the shop with a guy named uh, Mutant Mike, who, uh, rest in peace, he died a, f a long time ago now. But it a few years after I first met him, he probably died in the, probably around 2002, 2003. He died uh, pretty quickly after, um, like I said, quite a while ago now. Anyways, he was listening to it in the shop. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? And it was the Hymns album. And um, they called it the, <laughs> Brian, the, the, I don't know if anybody else referred to this. It was just Brian and Mike. They call it the toilet flushing vocals. Toilet flushing vocals. Like, yeah, it kind of does fucking sound like that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And like it's, at that time, they were probably like the first band really doing that to mind. I mean, I can't think of anyone earlier than Last Days that was had a vocal uh, style like that. I, I mean, if there's somebody that was prior to them that was doing that, uh, let me know. I don't know if anyone earlier. Of course, afterwards, yes, there's a shitload of fucking bands that obviously inspired a lot of bands, and it got a little bit fucking just. Ah, okay, this again. It's like, yeah, I don't need 20. It's kind of like, I really like Enjoy Last Days, but it's kind of like, I don't need 20 bands that sound like that at the same time, if that makes any fucking sense. But, uh, yeah, so that's how I first heard them, and then I went and bought this CD as well, the first album, eventually, um, which actually, I I think I got this at, at Extreme Music as well, at Baxter Shop. I'm pretty sure that's why I bought it, but it was a little bit later, um, because at the time, this one was, what year was this recorded? Uh, <clears throat> Well, because last days when I said when I got the uh, hymns, that was their second album. This one I think was pretty hard to get at the time. The uh, the first album, the sound of Rancho Juices sl sloshing around your coffin, which actually fun fucking fact. In case any of you guys don't fucking know this, uh, do you know where they got that title from? In case you have it in a note, but it's actually uh, uh, lyrics from uh, Carcass on Recomputrefaction. I forget what song. Maybe it's Psychopathologist or. Microwave utero, utero gestation, if I'm saying that right. It's one of those. It's just, I, I fucking should know, but uh, but it is uh, definitely off reek, and that's one of the things he says in the lyrics is the sound of rancid juices flushing around your coffin. So, in case you didn't know where the fuck they got that uh, that title, that's where they uh, got it from. They didn't tell me that. It's just I'm a huge carcass fan, and when I saw that, I was like, oh well, I know our last day's got that title. Fucking, you know, it wasn't too hard to put two and two together, right? Uh, it says that this was recorded in '96, so I'm assuming it came out around '97. So it wasn't like a super old or anything by the time I heard the second album. Um, but I, like I said, it was a little hard to get. So I think I got this like maybe like another two years after I heard the uh, second album. And when I first heard it, uh, I didn't like it as much as the second album. And I didn't through all my teenage years. I always, <coughs> I always liked it. But I didn't like it as much as the second. But now my adult years, I actually think I like the first album better. Um, I don't know. It's just the the, the vocals are just so over the fucking top. I'm like, Let me fix this goddamn fucking camera. Fuck. Get nothing but ceiling over there, right? Hey, yeah, the vocal delivery and shit is just so over the top fucking just angry and just, it just doesn't sound like anybody at, at all. Like, especially fucking for 97. I can't think of anybody that sounded fucking like that prior to them. And like, not, not even close. So that was really cool. And I got the LP version of that. And... This is, uh, Hells didn't put this one out. This was put out by a label called Fat Ass Records, which I guess is kind of a funny fucking record name, label name, right? Insert. And, uh, but this is long sold out. These did, these did come in through Hells, so that is where I picked it up. But if you're like, ah, fuck, I really want to get that, um, LP, it's sold out. You'll have no fucking fear because Hell's is actually, um, this is a colored vinyl, but I can't even tell. It's so fucking dark, it looks black. I guess it's like a really dark bluish green. Can't even fucking tell it's so goddamn dark. But yeah, Hell's is, uh, 
doing a vinyl version of this. So we will have our pressing. It's been submitted already at press for quite a while. But like I said in previous vid videos, ever since fucking Wimpfid, uh, turnaround times of the plants have been complete, absolute fucking dog shit. <coughs> so when they're coming in, who the fuck knows? But it'll be this year for sure. So keep your eyes peeled for that because I'm definitely stoked for that. It's going to be fucking awesome. And uh, then you can get that on vinyl for yourself. So, um, yeah. Now, again, I never, like, had any interaction with the band members themselves. So to answer uh, whoever asked the question. Uh, never met the guys. Never talked to them. Um, I think after we got the uh, deal set up, uh, maybe. No, actually, I think it was still Bones Brigade sending over the materials. I'll say, I think maybe the band, one of the band members was in contact with Eric for layouts, sending the materials. Maybe. But I want to see. I still want to say maybe uh, Bones is the one that gave them all the materials. But. Maybe one band, but yeah, I have no interaction, no, uh, sorry, no stories with the last days members or anything like that. Um, never met them, don't know anything about them. Um, I would like to, that'd be cool. Definitely, I'd be, uh, get my, you know, picture taken with the price, sign my LPs and shit, you know, that'd be cool, right? And what else I own is, um, I do have picture this version of, uh, Hymns. We didn't put this out. That was, this is also done by Fat Ass Records. And, um, then I have a split, uh, 12 inch picture disc. With uh, lymphatic phlegm, which I got to be honest with you guys, I got to go back and listen to this because it's been, I kind of don't even remember uh, how the songs on this one sound. Um, I mean, I, I know how they sound. It sounds like fucking last days. I kinda, I know what to expect, but um, I don't remember how much I liked it compared to the other two because the other albums, I don't really know as well. I was kind of like, it, it kind of like what I was saying with Marduk and shit. Like, I, I don't think any of it, I've heard them and I don't think anything sucks. It was just kind of like, I don't know. It's it's hard to explain. Like I the, the the first two albums are just really nostalgic to me. And I guess by the time I heard the later ones, I was definitely in my adult years and I didn't think uh I, I don't know how to explain it. It's just one of those things you didn't you didn't go back to the band. You loved the first two you had. That's kinda all you knew existed at the time and you just you know, and that but again, I I've heard the later ones. I'm like, Yeah, it's cool. It's like I know the drums started to get a little bit over like over the top to where it was almost like the one thing if I remember that I kinda almost didn't like is there intentionally trying to outdo themselves to where to be like overly extreme, like maybe out top the albums extremity wise, which I'm all, which is all cool and I'm all for, but the problem, what I remember being is that the songs weren't very memorable and as catchy. So it's kind of like, you know, I love extreme shit, but it's got, it's like, it got a heavy, catchy, memorable, you know, good songs that I really want to enjoy listening to not rather than just be extreme, just to be fucking extreme. And I'm not saying that the ones in the newer albums aren't, it's just that's kind of how I remembered them from the listens I've heard. And it's been quite a while since I've heard them. Same with, like I said, that lymphatic flum split. But I don't even remember where the fuck I got that, to be honest. Um, I've had it for quite a while, too. Uh, but uh, maybe that's what I was thinking for that uh, split. Maybe I was thinking that's, that was my opinion of it. But I never heard anything I thought sucked by any means. I just thought it was becoming obvious that they're trying to almost like it's a competition or something. Who could be the fastest and the heaviest? And nothing wrong with that. But, again, you got to have the got to have the songs to back it up. Right? So first two is where it was at for me. And um, hymns is sold out, but probably a fucking repress sometime in the future. I'm sure. Um, I'm pr pretty sure. Don't, don't, hold, don't hold me to it, but pretty sure we'll probably fucking uh, do a repress of hymns. And um, uh, first time sounds of rancid juices. This is that for us? So you can fucking get that. And uh, yeah. So in case you missed out on the uh, fat ass records pressing, ours will be better anyway. So n nothing to worry about there. Forget what colors and versions we're doing, but it should be something fucking cool. Match the fucking uh, record. Yeah, and, uh, you know, nice and fitting. So, yeah, keep your eyes off appeal for that. And, uh, yeah, that's basically my fucking last day's records of, you know, what I have and my opinion on them and also the stories the stories about them that I don't have and how the fuck we uh, got involved in doing their, um, dude, got involved with dude releasing their shit. So, yeah, that's it for this one, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.